First of all, we have the setup. It's pretty easy. Fork and a spoon. Interlock them like that. You should be able to hold one, the other should not go anywhere. Standard toothpick, right through the middle. This is the tricky part. Now you want to balance it left and right on this toothpick. About right there. Then you just take the whole assembly. This takes a little work. And you balance it. Now with it balanced here, it looks pretty incredible and a lot of people are going to think, whoa, what's holding it there it must be magic. Because what we see is a toothpick laying on a glass and all this weight pushing down on this toothpick over here, but it's not flipping over or falling down. To add to the effect, you can shorten the toothpick. You let it burn to the rim. This is where a lot of people start thinking it's a total setup. This is all got to be magic. To even head to the effect, the flame stops right there at the rim. At this point, it, most people can't even fathom what's going on here. You just got to think about it for a second. It's physics. What's going on? To balance right here, that means the center of gravity must be right there at the rim. The handle from this utensil is coming back, and so is this one. They're coming back far enough to this side of the rim that the center of gravity is right there on the edge. It's kind of deceiving, but if these were angled the other way, of course this wouldn't work, but because they're angled that way, I'll just knock off the little piece of ash there. It'll sit there and will balance. So, at first glance, this, it looks pretty amazing, but it's really pretty simple. The coolest part about this is that because there really is no setup or any magic trick to it, you can pull the whole thing apart and just show them. See? Just a fork, just a spoon, normal toothpick, normal glass. Hope that helps you guys.